guys, um, a lot of people ask me how to tone your arms and get rid of flabby arms and have nice looking lean arms. So this morning I'm going to show you five exercises you can do to tone your arms, the biceps and the triceps and also have nice looking well defined shoulders. Basically, like all exercises I show you, you can do this in the comfort of your own home. You don't need the gym, you don't need any equipment. All you need is a mat, two bottles of water or a dumbbell, and a box or a chair. That's all you need. So the first exercise is jumping jack. And I know we're pretty much used to doing jumping jacks with our arms, but this morning I'm gonna add um, two bottles of water to add a little bit of resistance to jumping jacks. So if you don't have a dumbbell, you can use the two bottles of water to do jumping jacks. At the end of it all, if you do up to 50, you should be able to feel some um, your muscles in your arms burning because you're pretty much adding resistance to what would normally be a cardiovascular exercise. So the second exercise is tricep dips, where we're working with your underarms. That is the part that has a tendency to be jiggy. So you sit on the box, put your arms on it, and then step away, move away, move slightly, slightly away from the box, and then lower yourself down to the ground and come up. Down to the ground and come up. Down to the ground and come up. Making sure that you don't lean away from the box as you do this. Neither do you sit on the box. So just slightly away from the box. Push yourself down and come up. Down, come up. Down, come up. The third exercise is bicep curls. Simple. Putting your arms close to your side and raising the bottom to you. Don't swing your arms because if not, you work on another thing rather than your arm. So stand with your feet slightly and hip width apart and then push the bottle close to you, keeping your arm tight to your side so that you are isolating the bicep muscles and working the muscles. If you want to add a little bit of resistance, you can use a resistance band or you can use your dumbbell. And So the fourth exercise is an inch one. If you haven't done this before, then um, take time to learn the technique rather than rushing to it so you don't enjoy yourself. You stand with your feet, keep it apart, and then use your arms to walk to the top of the mat as I'm doing. Remember to hold your core nice and tight. So you go this way. If you're already an advanced inch warmer, you can add a push up at the end of it, which is the last exercise I'm coming to. Okay, if you added a push up to the last inch warm exercise, then you can do push up plank, which is this. But if you are not able to add push-ups to it, then you can do push-ups on the board. Put your knees on the floor. Put your arms slightly wider than your shoulders and lower your body. Keeping your, um, pushing your arms to the side. Lower your body to the mat. Looking straight ahead, holding your core in. If you've been doing push-ups for a long time, use your toes. Okay, so if you're able to do these five exercises, then I guarantee you, within a month, you will not only notice strength like you never have before, but then if you have, um, if, you are, if, you, if your body fat levels are not so high, you begin to see, you begin to see a leanness in your arms as well, and you'll be toning your arms. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.